We are visiting today with Mrs. Sarah Culpepper, affectionately known as Sally. She has been a member of First Baptist Church on the Square longer than any other current member. Uh, Mrs. Culpepper, may I call you Sally? Please. I was thinking about the visit we had a few months ago when I had the pleasure of interviewing you for a little article in our senior adult newsletter. And I thoroughly enjoyed that, appreciated you letting me do that. And when Jim Lee called the other day and said that the history committee of our church had arranged for this videotaping, I was delighted. So here we are. Here we are. And I'm glad that you uh, are willing to let us do that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I have, since I'm fairly uh, new in our church, six years here, I have uh, used this church, this book frequently to pick up information about the history of the church, and it, it is most interesting. Uh, this book was published uh, in uh, 1978, I believe, the 100th anniversary, 150th anniversary of our church. And I was thumbing through it the other day, and, and I ran across a name that struck me as perhaps your name. Uh, now this is a, from a roster in 1928. At that time it was the 100th anniversary of the church. And in this book it records all of the members, the resident members in 1928. And I found the name of Sarah Ridley Lane. Does that sound familiar? Same thing. Well, I, I thought so. Okay. Well, Sally, tell me a little bit, a little bit about your family and growing up here in Lagrange, and that that sort of thing. Well, of course, I was born and raised here, and um, September the 13th, Friday, 1913. Anybody born Friday the 13th? I like that. But anyway, um, I come from a long line of people here. My great grandmother was Sarah Coburn Farrell, who, who played in the Hills and Dales. And then the, the um, ancestor comes on down, and my mother was named Sarah, and she was Sarah Farrell Ridley. And then they named me Sarah, but everybody called me Sally. I like it better. <laughs> well, another name that I saw in this book was a doctor, I believe it was F.M. Ridley. Ridley. Yes, he was my grandfather, and he was uh, Mayor LaGrange, he was a doctor, and um, he named LaGrange the City of Elves and Roses. Oh, he was the one that did that. Okay. Yeah. Very interesting. Uh, uh, tell me a little bit about your parents. Well, um, my mother was, was a Ridley and married um, Lane. My father was a doctor, Dr. Joe Lane, because they both passed away. And uh, I have two children, and uh, one is with Sally. Uh, she's Sally McCullough now. And then um, I have a son, William Baker, up in Virginia. Another Sally. Another Sally. Uh, is this somewhat of a tradition in your family? I think so. Oh. <laughs> well, good. Well, that's a nice tradition. Did that run out now, I think. Yeah. Well, uh, tell me a little bit about growing up in LaGrange. Oh, Jack, where would I start? <laughs> <laughs> we were Hall Avenue School, and uh, of course, the Grange High, and um, and then I went to the Grange College, uh, and Coastal Grange to me has always been a wonderful place. And um, a long time ago, I mean, 40, well, it's been more than that now, I went into the real estate business. I was the first woman in real estate in the county. The first real estate uh, owner or operator in the county, in the entire county, the entire county. 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 And I think there were only about three or four in Georgia, two in Atlanta, one in Columbus. Yeah. Well, and I, I bet you were good at that too. Uh, well, I hope so. <laughs> I'm sure you were a very successful career. You had a long career in real estate. Forty-one years. Forty-one years. Wonderful. Before we leave uh, your family and growing up here, uh, your family home, uh, from what uh, I've heard was up in the area where the city park is right. now, I believe. Tell me about that a little bit. That was my grandfather's home, okay. Dr. Ridley. 
And then he owned all that land, and he gave my mother uh, and father a lot next to his home. And um, they lived, we lived right just next door. And this whole, we, you go right up Church Street, you run right into it, and it was burned. Mm. And um, of course it was not replaced. I see. Uh -huh. All right. My grand, my uncle lived there, and he was a doctor also. Yes. Okay. And this uh, Ridley Street, or Ridley, Avenue, Ridley huh? Avenue, I should say, mm -hmm. uh, that must have been named for, name for your uh -huh. grandfather. That's right. And then he had a brother who was a doctor, Dr. Charles Ridley, who lived over on the corner of Ridley Avenue. All that land was Ridley. One thing that you, uh, I, I noticed, uh, skirted around a little bit when I was asking you about growing up in LaGrange. And you mentioned LaGrange College, but uh, I also remember from that news article uh, in our senior adult paper that uh, there was a contest, a beauty contest back in those days. <laughs> you were Miss... Miss LaGrange, Miss LaGrange. Uh -huh. Well, that was quite an experience, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> it was indeed. Okay. And um, what else happened that year? Well. Now, this was right after you graduated or fin uh, you had just finished LaGrange College? I, I was Miss Grange right before I finished Right before LaGrange you College. graduated. And then I finished college in 34 and married that September. Okay. You married in 1934. Okay, well tell me a little bit about your husband, and you've already mentioned the two children. Yes, well, my husband lived here, and um, he and his father, we business together. The wholesale grocery business, Culpepper and Son, and we in for many years. Culpepper and Son, grocery uh -huh. business. Wholesale. Okay. Wholesale grocery, okay. And then my husband died uh, 12 years ago. Okay. All right. Uh, your your family had a, a connection with the Calloways. I heard you just barely touch on that a while ago. You said something about hills and dales. Well, but what was that connection? Well, my 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 pe my great great grandmother uh, and granddaughter because lived there, and then they sold in the Calloway home. Yeah, yes, they lived there. Yes, and goes. They died, and then um, there were other fellows who lived there, and then they sold that property to the Cowboys. That, that was a connection there. Yes, I see. Mm -hmm. Well, um, Sally, uh, what are what are your earliest remembrances of our church? Well, I remember when I was baptized. I was six years old. Six years old. Six years old. And my mother had me dressed up in a white Albany dress. <laughs> and the baptismal was on the floor in front of the pulpit. And when they we baptized, they put up planks and put water in it. And that's how you were baptized. Oh. <laughs> Get there. <laughs> I'm sure it was quite an experience for it a six-year-old. It was. And a, a memorable one it was. for, it was for you. Yes, good. So the baptistry was not where it is now? No, no, yeah. no. Okay. Right below the pulpit. Right below the pulpit. On the floor. Okay, all right. Well, I can see why you would remember that. Oh, yeah, yes. Sure. Uh, well, there have been some significant changes over the years in our church, as you well know. Uh, uh, what stands out in your memory uh, in the area of activities or ministries or buildings or whatever? Oh, there's so many, Jack. There's so many different things that have happened. The church built, rebuilt. Yes. Uh-huh. And um, which my daughter was married in the Baptist church. And um, that was, of course, a very wonderful occasion for us. Special occasion. Special occasion. Very, very special. I know it was. Uh, any, any other experiences like that that you remember here in the church? I mean, in addition to uh, Little Sally's uh, wedding. Oh, so many. I mean, we were all involved in <laughs> yes. so many things. And you, 
You were involved in some of the ministries that took place here as well, yes. and of course Sunday school. I taught Sunday school. Taught Sunday. What, what area did you teach? First grade with First the little grade. tables. <laughs> with the little table. Okay. Isn't it interesting how you remember things oh, like yes. that more oh, than anything yes. else? The little tables and the little chairs. And that's right. <laughs> Charles Hudson was in my first Sunday school class. Charles Hudson was in your first Sunday school class. That, isn't that interesting? It yeah. is. That's good. And his mother was my first Sunday school teacher. Oh, okay. Well, uh, tell us uh, a little bit about maybe a, a pastor that stands out in your memory of one of the early preachers that you had. Uh, would well, you share a little bit about that? Uh, someone who was, you know, you know memorable in, in your estimation? We had so many good ones. Yes. Thorne Williams and, uh, oh, I can't. Offhand, I can't even recall how many yes. that we had. Dr. Turnell was the one that baptized me. That was way back then. Okay. Now that that was uh, 1920 something. Well, I was six, so. You were six, so. <laughs> okay. Uh, and that's, says it, that says it better than I could have. Well, uh, you mentioned, uh, of course, the wedding of your daughter, which was a special event. Uh, uh, any other experiences that you might recall taking place here? That well, my when my husband died, uh, it was not because we had a certainly a Baptist funeral, but we had a graveside, and the church was wonderful then. As they always are in cases like that. I don't really know, Jack, what... Yes. I'm sure that so many experiences that they, they just all flooded right, your mind. Right, right. That's understandable. That's right. Understandable. Well, uh, Sally, uh, let, me, uh, let me ask you just to continue, if you will, just to think of, of uh, programs that you might have led in the, in the church or some special uh, ministry that you were particularly involved in? Well, I had several uh, uh, missionary leaders. I was a missionary uh, yes. leader several times. And then once I was chairman of the nominating committee, which was tough. And um, let's see, I was on the board uh, when they elected deacons one time. And uh, that's about it. All right. Uh, well, we, again, we want to thank you for taking time to do this. And I know it's going to be important to the history committee and <clears throat> certainly important to our church. When you think in terms of people in years to come having the opportunity to uh, view this interview with you and reflect on what happened. That, along, things of that type along with the book will keep alive the history, the great history of this church. And this videotape will be a part of the archives, I'm sure, of the uh, history committee. Thank you so much. Thank you. We are...